All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. Today, we're going back to the ever reliable Camber Bavaria Brewery here in Germany. And this is the Pale Ale, which I don't think I've actually ever had up till this point. Um, but yeah, hops are Centennial, Chinook, and Simcoe. And uh, yeah, tasting notes I don't really want to read. <coughs> but yeah. Camber Pale Ale, water, barley malt, hops, and yeast. Clocking in at 5.2%. I don't have my mouth. And, uh, yeah, best before is 19th of January, February, March, April 2017. And, uh, yeah, nice artwork once again from these guys. I've reviewed quite a few of their beers on the channel. And I've drank a fair few more that I've yet to review. But, um, yeah, quite widely available, especially their core range, for a good price. They're a very affordable craft brewery. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I've actually had a bad beer by them. So I was in Beretta today, picking up beers for one of the beer chats in the next few days. And, uh, yeah, I saw that they had this back in stock, so I was like, I'll get myself a bottle. So, uh, yeah, there's the beer. Let's pour it into the glass and see what we get. Let's give it a tiny bit of head so you can see it. That'll do. But, yeah, beer in a glass, and when I hold it up to the light, that looks to me almost like a slightly cloudy and hazy Heller's beer. But at the same time, you know, it looks like pale ale as well. And, uh, yeah, there's some nice little cloudy sediment floating around in there, very slowly. And, uh, yeah, mixing really nicely with that carbonation. Very gentle. And in terms of a head, we've got about one finger's worth of a white fluffy head. So, uh, yeah, looks like a nice simple pale ale so far. Let's see what we get on the aroma. And you definitely get that hop concoction right away. It's got this sort of like resiny pineiness to it. But that's offset with like maybe a slight grapefruit lychee sort of aroma. Leaning more towards like a fruit bowl as opposed to you know, a rather bitter pale ale. But it's not like one of the most vibrant pale ales that you'll ever sniff, but it's got a lot more character than some bog standard pale ales. But yeah, that, that hop character, really, really nice. Those hops are blending nicely together. You get that slight candied sweet, rancher's fruit pastel, Haribo, maybe, sort of aroma. But yeah, then you get that resiny, grassy, sort of oily sort of thing coming right in as well. And it all complements really nice. One of those beers that you can just sit there and sniff for absolutely ages. But anyway, let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. Cheers. Mm. Nice and fruity, and just like on the nose, it's offset with this really nice, slightly earthy, resiny sort of flavour. There's a little bit of a kick in there as well. A little bit of a spice. A spicy note. Uh, not like a, a Belgian strong ale, not like that yeasty Belgian flavour. But like, as if it's been seasoned with something. It's got a very slight savoury edge to it. But you definitely get those fruity flavours in there. More along the lines of like maybe slight citrus fruits. A little bit of blood orange, maybe, as well. Um, not as tropical on the flavour as it is on the aroma, for me, anyway. But still really, really nice. Nicely balanced. And it's got a nice bitterness on the back end. <coughs> which is a little bit stronger than I was expecting. But it's not harsh. But it's definitely there. And it just tops the beer off really, really nicely. Actually, you get that 
you get that bit in a straight away actually. Comes in really nicely and then intensifies slightly on the back end. Making you want to go in for another drink. It's crisp, it's refreshing, it's got a nice medium body to it. It's just a very solidly crafted pale ale. It's not promising to be anything else. But it's such a good example of what you can do with a very simple beer style. Back to basics. Nice use of hops in there. You definitely get that in the flavour, but it's not a hop bomb. Like I said, not too citrusy. Very nicely balanced. Nicely carbonated as well. Really holding down a burp as I'm talking. And yeah, that, that like spicy kick. It's going to complement stuff like curries perfectly. Or like a chili con carne. Something that's got a little bit of heat. And I think it's going to go really well with this beer. But it's one of those beers that you could just drink any time of the day. No matter what the situation. And for the price point. Um, I've been in Germany for quite a while now. Drinking a lot of German craft beer. And some of the more expensive pale ales I've tried. Seem to lack that little bit of character. But this has got character straight up front. And for the price of it, especially here within Bavaria. <coughs> excuse me. It goes to like that sort of go-to sort of beer. Where if you wanted a good, flavoursome pale ale, then pick yourself up a few bottles of Camber Bavaria's pale ale. Uh, for me personally, can't fault it too much, but I think you know, that IPA... The, the one that's spelled IPA, not actually with the letters IPA. That for me is just so up there. And it's unfair to compare that with this because this is a pale ale. But for a basis and core um, range pale ale, I think they've done a damn good job with this. And uh, yeah, that would be absolutely fantastic on tap. It's just that little kick that I really like that sets it apart from other beers of this sort of style. So in terms of rating, I'm going to give Camba Bavaria's Pale Ale a solid 8 out of 10. Can't fault it too much at all. Um, and yeah, another winner from a very, very solid brewery indeed. If you find this outside of Germany... In the UK, the US, other territories are available. Um, then def definitely pick yourself up a bottle of this. Um, and it's going to be one of those beers that if you've got a mate who's trying to get into craft beer or beers from around the world and you want to give him a good solid example, but it's not going to overwhelm his palate or, you know, mess around with his expectations, that sort of thing, then this is one of those beers that I can highly, highly recommend. So... Camber Bavaria's Pale Ale, another great job from these guys. Check out Camber Bavaria down below. I've got a playlist of quite a few of their beers also that you should check out, see what they're all about. And uh, yeah, if you've tried this one or indeed any other beers from Camber Bavaria, let me know your thoughts and opinions and which one should I go out and seek for myself. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, until next time, hope you stay safe and hope you drink good beers. So thank you guys for watching. Prost.